Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk about this interesting situation with uh, Andy Signor, who was the, well, he's with uh, Popcorn Planet now is his YouTube channel. And uh, he was the founder, I believe, of uh, Honest Trailers. That's fun. Um, so I don't know him personally. Apparently, Warner Brothers Discovery uh, did a copyright strike on a video of him reacting to their footage of his footage. Apparently, they okay. There's a uh, Amber Heard Johnny Depp documentary, and you know darn well they're going to push for a certain side because they want to save their Aquaman film. You know, yeah, Discovery yeah. Plus is Warner and all that now. So apparently, during the this video, they without permission are posting clips of YouTubers talking about things. And it seems that when this person was playing that clip of himself without their permission on his on their, on their Disney, Disney Discovery Plus documentary, they copyright struck him for you know responding to himself. Yeah, so this is kind of crazy. We're gonna we're gonna talk about this, and uh, you know it could be a rando lawyer for Discovery. It could be um, a bot, or it could be. You know, one of the uh, many journalists Eve that Eve Barlow, because I, I I went out to his channel to see what he's covering now. He does cover pop culture news, but he's been pretty heavy into the Johnny Depp Amber Heard drama, and uh, you know, chances are pretty good that he's gotten on the wrong side of some of these people. And we know how crazy some of these personalities in this thing are. I mean, we've mm -hmm. seen it firsthand: the doxing and the the hit pieces and the media and all that shit. So it's it's very plausible that one of these unhinged parties uh, went out and, and you know tried to false flag his channel or whatever, but it's very weird to see your own footage get uh, a copyright strike when they're using it without permission. permission. Right. So let's, uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 276,000 subs. Woo Thank you so much for the support. Um, speaking of support, today is the last day for the main campaign for Crimson Ren Volume 1. We're at uh, almost 73,000. Thank you Yay. so much. Uh, we will leave it in demand for a little while. I don't think all the tiers are going to be there, um, but at least you'll be able to get a copy of the book for sure. And uh, we're probably going to do a second chance offer on Kickstarter too, for those of you who missed out before yeah, we closed it out. Yeah, people didn't want to do Indiegogo. They want a Kickstarter. So yeah, fine. which is weird because uh, you know normally I, I wouldn't have even... Well, we were going to do it on Kickstarter first originally, and then they had all the, uh, the weirdness going down with... Um, campaigns, being campaigns being stolen from Indiegogo. So I'm like, well, we better do it anyway, just to make sure that it's ours. <laughs> you know, that yeah. winds up over there. Um, but yeah, you can see Jose's doing some amazing art on this book. Uh, but yeah, so I think we'll do it. And uh, as long as uh, Kickstarter can keep their nose clean, and it seems like they, they got rid of some of the... Uh, the uh, gatekeepers over there then will be fine but uh, this is what we consider the, the primary campaign here on indiegogo so let's let's talk about this uh, situation here with andy so apparently uh, as i understand it again i don't know him and no. i'm um, just going by what what's going down on twitter here discovery plus why are you allowed to use footage from my channel and others on here without our permission along with tons of public domain court footage, news clips, but we can't show clips from your show. I'm fighting this. Sorry, uh, all those that were blocked. Video contains content from Discovery Communications who has blocked it in your country on copyright grounds. So Yeah, and here's the thing. If you keep getting struck with copyright grounds, copyright strikes, you're going to be kicked off of YouTube. Which is the point, because some of these people uh that have gone after youtubers especially the youtubers that have gone heavy into the the amber heard johnny depp drama have said that their goal is to deplatform youtubers that have talked about it because mm -hmm. in their minds they believe these youtubers are somehow responsible for amber heard losing it had nothing to do with it it really had nothing to do with it it was a court of public opinion the public saw the you know everything uh warts and all and um i think that a lot of journalism like journalists pop culture blogs and stuff um also lost because they kept trying to spin a narrative that if you're watching the facts in the case it wasn't true and people were like wait a minute 
but you're gaslighting me. And I think that had a lot to do with why now you're seeing a lot of uh, drop offs and, you know, people are getting fired and all that yeah. too. So, you know, this is the intro. I want to, I want to talk about this because this, something like this happened to us a um, couple of times. We had, when we were uh, very critical of Shira when it first came out. We had one of our, our uh, reaction videos to the trailer for season two, I think. And we didn't even really play much of the trailer. We play a couple seconds, pause it. Was it was well within fair use. It was well within fair use. Within, I don't know, a couple minutes of that video being posted, it, we got a copyright strike from DreamWorks. Now, a couple things could be going on here. Uh, one, given the speed, I think it was a manual flagging. And I think it was either somebody from DreamWorks, somebody associated. Oh, I'm sure, because they're watching us. Right. Somebody associated with the production or even a stand, because you technically can go out there and you can flag a video and say that it contains copyrighted material well, or whatever. Well, this time it was Discovery, I think, itself, because it copyright owners. How would they right. know that that quickly? Um. Yeah. So their lawyers are hovering you know, I think, or somebody has got somebody on speed dial or something, or there's a Slack channel somewhere like, Hey, uh, one of these, these chuds, these anti Amber Heard chuds, uh, you know, is, is using your footage discovery. Oh my God, you better do something. Okay. Or, or we'll get our lawyers right on it. Now, sometimes the companies don't even know what the hell is going on. Uh, we did a video talking about Mattel where Mattel hires, and we've, we've had run-ins with Mattel. They hire, you know, these different legal teams, firms to go out and basically strike content or whatever, and they take it too far. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a blog 10, 15 years ago, about 10 years ago, I guess. You had some leak, leaked Monster High um, uh, doll prototypes, but we weren't hosting them. They were actually hosted someplace else, and I think mm -hmm. you just embedded the photos. I did. Because I didn't want to get my stuff taken down. Right? So what happened was they contacted Mattel's lawyers, contacted our ISP, forced them to take down the blog post. But well, we hadn't violated anything. We hadn't violated anything. We weren't hosting the photos or anything. Then I think they came out. They were made public like a week later. And, um, and apparently they're still doing it with people doing like Jurassic Park toy reviews and stuff like that like i guess a guy was reviewing toys it um before the street date and they got all mad so these lawyers to justify their existence they will go yeah, around but they and... were toys that were out the store already they were talking about pictures <laughs> from people that bought it so yeah it, it's insane um we saw people get you know struck for many things but this one yeah it sounds like they were reacting to the clip like they were watching the, the discovery plus documentary part where it was them and yeah. they were reacting to themselves and the, the uh, unauthorized video that this Discovery Plus used. They didn't have permission. And they were reacting to themselves. So they weren't like doing, they were, it wasn't copyrighted, anything copyrighted they should have been in trouble for mm -hmm. because it was their own video they were reacting to. And then they got copyright struck for it. So Warner Brothers owns Discovery Plus. They're saying what you were speculating. Warner Brothers has hundreds of millions and counting tied mm -hmm. up in Aquaman too. That's what I said. Why? Why is? Why are they giving Ezra Miller like fifty thousand chances? Anybody else would and have making it all go away and making it all go away uh, because they've got three hundred million dollars tied up in the Flash movie, and after that comes out. Then they can kick their asses, all of Ezra Miller's asses, uh, to the curb after that. But they got to make sure this movie makes its money back, mm -hmm. right? And they're and they're going to try to do what they can to try to damage control, like they're doing with Ezra Miller, for Amber Heard because they have the the Aquaman film they want to put out. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure it has a lot to do with that. And this person, you know, they're going out and copyright striking him because it's it's he did Amber Heard videos. Yeah. So um, I don't know if uh, Signor has. You know, if he has a handler at YouTube, uh, you know, his channel's pretty sizable. He's got like think so. six or 700,000 subscribers. I'm sure he's got at least a, a person he can, you know, given that he's a guy who did honest trailers, I'm sure there's somebody he can call up and be like, hey, uh, this is not right. But YouTube being YouTube, current year and being understaffed, it could take you like three or four days you know, mm -hmm. to get an answer. And we, we've seen this happen, um, too. Now, you know, he had some controversy. So I got to wonder if, you know, uh, people are like, Hey, this is the guy that you need, you know, cause 
he got wrapped up in the Me Too movement too. Oh, uh, that might be why he's so strongly. You yeah, know, he's you know very infested in this. Yeah, so there's but a whole it lot. Turned of, out he was supposedly innocent. Uh, my understanding is it was all blown way out of proportion. That's my understanding. Again, it's another one of those cases where uh, you know I don't weigh in on it too much. Uh, kind of like the Vic Mignogna situation. Like I wasn't there. I'm just looking at it from the outside and being like. I'm not seeing a whole lot of evidence, but uh, we, I've had, you know, looked into several blog articles or like, you know, this whole thing was blown way out of proportion. So th- there could be a, a number of people basically that had an ax to grind with them and they're yeah, looking to it, take his channel down. Just, I just can't wrap my head around it. So they, they copyright struck his video where he was literally just playing the, the discovery plus video part where they were taught. He was, it was him. So it was his own video. Yeah. Yep. So, because they're going to say, well, that was part of our documentary. It's like, but they they took his, they took his footage. Yeah. So they took it. That's the thing that gets me too. like, they're going to claim fair use. They're going to say, we can use clips of YouTubers, live streams and whatever. And that's fair use. And technically it is, but so is under so much time though, right? Yeah. As long as it's just like a 10, 15 second clip or something like that, that's considered fair use. But, uh, and they can do it with impunity, but, but you can't do it in reverse to them. You can't, you know, and it's, it's you reacting to yourself and how your footage is being used. And we wondered if maybe it was this automatic because like if it had already been put through and, and, you know, it was the saying it was duplicate content. Yeah. And you had said that could be the case. However, it didn't flag his other videos Right. Just um, these recent ones. Uh, yeah, and there's some weird stuff that with copyright claim anyway. I mean, that whole the whole system is broken. I'll bring up some other examples here. But, um, I mean, we've had a case where we split our gaming content off from our main channel. Like, we started out doing more, you know, gameplay videos and art videos and stuff like that. And we split that off into uh, the Clownfish Studios channel. And when I started moving videos over from Clownfish to Clownfish Studios, I ran into a huge problem because it said that I was basically just stealing Clownfish TV content and putting it on another yeah. channel. So I couldn't I couldn't technically do that. It's it's very very weird, but I mean there've been so many examples over the last couple of months about how broken. This is a lo-fi girl which is really popular. It's a, a music uh, you know, a chill okay. stream thing. You'd, you'd know it if you saw the girl, right? So, yeah, the lo-fi radios were taken down because of false copyright strikes. Um, and people that don't like you abuse it. And uh, it's basically the way YouTube uh, works now is guilty until proven innocent. Mm-hmm. So they will take content down. We had somebody strike a video of ours that had nothing to do with They said it had, like, violent content in it or something. We were reading, a, reading an article from Cartoon Brew about trolls. And they said that it like had the, 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 the trolls movie, like the trolls movie. And there was nothing in the video that was remotely hateful, spiteful, whatever. We we're just talking about the box office, I think, for this movie. And it got flagged as violent content, hate speech, all this stuff. So they gave us a strike. They actually gave us a we got reverse. Oh, we got reversed within like two days. Yeah. But they basically just, they struck the channel. Then they had to kind of put our channel into like protective, protected mode um, because it turned out that there were people that were trying to false flag well, our content. Well, they did that during a live stream. They, they, they false flagged it to get taken down. And after that, they put it into protective mode because they're like, you know, nothing was said that should have gotten it taken down, but they were the accusations that were made were not true. We had that happen. This was a couple of years ago. We had a, a comic book round table and yeah, there were some, somebody, uh, and I think it was multiple people tried false flagging um, the live stream and YouTube just ended the live stream. And, you know, they came back to us later and, it, you know, we have, you know, a, a network they came back to us and they're like, yeah, it turned out that it was just a bunch of So that's another reason crap. they put us there. Protecting yeah, they're basically this. like, we're not taking your live streams down unless we go in first and see yeah, what's so there's going on. I think that they won't just take things down yeah. unless they check so, of what happened before. I would think with him having such a history at, at YouTube that he probably knows people there, but, but they do it. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, lo-fi radio they've been around a long time. They have, they've had multiple problems, but it's basically you get salty ass mofos. They come get in there. Lawyers that lawyers are like, wanting, that are, they get paid every time they take something down. Right. right. And, um, it's very hard. Now YouTube's trying to do better about that. Like they're having seminars on like what is and what is not, you know, copyright infringement. We try very hard not to, 
You even, know, this is why, even tempt fate. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, we technically could get away with doing, like, more trailer reactions and stuff like that, because that is technically considered fair use. But I'm like, if it's, what if it's fair use today, but in a, a year from now, YouTube changes the or, rules? Or it's fair use for certain people, but for not certain fair people. use for you. And so. uh, they decide they're going to change the rules in a year from now, and then they're going to go back and, and strike old videos. And this has actually happened. I know people that have had live streams up that have gotten strikes for like three, four-year-old live streams they'd completely forgotten about, but they were still floating around out there. And then they were getting strikes for like hate speech or whatever, because it's basically whatever these people can do. Again, if it's not the lawyers, if it's not the company themselves, then it's other people they are trying to deplatform. YouTubers. And it's a very because it's the Amber Heard Johnny Depp thing. Amber Heard Johnny Depp. There's a lot of shit these YouTubers have been yes. getting for it. So there's a hit list out there. They mm -hmm. do. They've got. They've actually you know multiple. I mean, uh, oh yeah, Tug's been talking about Tug's it. Tug's been lots on of times. it. Um, he's like he, he's definitely like you know uh, public enemy number one when it comes to to, to this stuff. But like, um, you know, these people have gotten into it with journalists and stuff and the journalists, then they go write the hit pieces and then they, you know, yeah, it's but we say journalists in quotes, quotes, uh, and they basically like, they don't have a platform on YouTube. So they just use somebody else's you know website to, mm -hmm. to do the damage. Um, and, uh, their whole thing. And they've said before, their whole thing is they want to completely destroy and deplatform anybody who in their minds falsely by the way swayed public opinion in favor of johnny depp well, the, the ones that weren't taking amber heard side are just mad that it wasn't them that everyone was listening to you know what gets me is like there was they had multiple articles about youtubers that were doing johnny depp amber heard videos and how much money they're making they never mentioned asmongold asmongold's a, a, a gaming streamer mm -hmm. and he's huge on twitch and he's, he's pretty big on youtube too and uh, he was he was reacting to the trial, and he was making way more money than any of these guys. But they didn't go after him, and I don't know if it's because they're worried that he'll sue. He's got, he the, got money the money to money. sue. Yeah, that could be because the guy's worth millions. He's got like a, a gaming PC company and all this other stuff. So I would have sued. I would have sued. We we do sue. We are very litigious. Uh, yeah, just so you to. know, just so you know, uh, there, yeah, we are highly litigious people because sometimes that's the only way you can send a message. Right. But I think they go after people that they think aren't going to fight back, can't fight back or public opinion has turned against them. Like, well, they're just all right. Nazis. Oh, this guy was doing, he was accused of some bad things four years ago. Well, people aren't going to side with him. Let's, you know, smear him. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to wrap this one up, right? Yeah. Could have wrapped up a while ago. We could have. Yeah, we, we could, could have. have. But anyway, it's really crappy. It, it is, is very crappy. Right. It's not right. No matter who flagged it, it's it's really not okay because, you know, if you're especially if you're just reacting to your own clip of you in the first place. Yeah, and I think YouTube really has to re-examine this because Discovery doesn't own that. No, and there there are other options too. I mean, YouTube creators are going to jump ship for other platforms if YouTube doesn't take care of them. Because mm -hmm. it's not like Discovery owns that content. No. Um, you know, and, and they're flagging because they own it. They didn't have they didn't have permission to use it in the first place. Just gonna wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.